Hey guys, Rainbow here. Today I'm gonna do a short review on the Swiss Arms Compact Tracer. A little interesting tracer I found that I think uh, might be interesting for you too. And it's... Oh shit, wait. There we go, much better. So let's have a little look at this new Acetec Lighter S. This is really awesome. Wait. No, that's correct. It's not an Acetec Lighter S. Even though it looks more or less 100% like one. Well, I'll be honest, I've never handled the Acetec Lighter S. I've only seen it on pictures. But come on. This is more or less a pure knockoff of it. So this is the Swiss Arms. Swiss Arms Tracer, Swiss Arms 10mm clockwise with 14mm counterclockwise adapter. Also called Swiss Arms Compact Tracer at most sites. Um, I haven't seen many sites carry this yet. So I don't know if it's pretty new on the market or if it's been out for a while and I've just missed it, but I do believe it's pretty new on the market. And just as the Ace Tech, this also has the little adapter, which people both love and hate. I actually don't mind it. Sure, it could be nice to have it wound some other way, but that's the way it goes. A little rubber ba ca gasket there, so the adapter doesn't slide off or vibrate off. I played with it um, a little while and, uh, this uh, Saturday at my Halloween game and it worked like a charm. The box, as I showed you, comes like this. Pretty standard feels like. This is what I think is pretty interesting. Cybergun and e-bike in America. So this is all actually a Cybergun rebrand it seems like. Which they call Swiss Arms. I don't know if the Ace Tech also may have some kind of uh, affiliation with Cybergun but this one does. And in the packet you get the box tracer with a little adapter and this simple but effective manual see there and one thing I found very interesting is that it's actually an always on tracer this little button here actually doesn't do very much difference because it's motion activated or shot activated, it says here. When a movement of more than three meters is made, how it now how it could know if you move it three meters or not, the tracer is automatically activated. Or once three shots have been fired, the tracer is automatically activated. And it worked very well for me during the game. The charging port for the mini USB is here. And uh, it has an auto shut off after 40 seconds. It says here that it's good for uh, 20,000 rounds with up to 35 RPS. Since I fire single fire only, single semi fire, um, I don't know about the RPS. I tried it with my Desert Eagle electric pistol, uh, which has full auto version, and it, it took all that at least without problem. So there you charge it, and you just screw it back together, of course, and nothing more about that. worked like a charm for me. It's much cheaper cheaper than the um, lighter S 
this goes for um, around nearly $80 in Sweden uh, so um, it's still cheaper than uh, Aztec lighter but it's still also double the price for the most cheap tracer I can find this goes for about $35 uh, at our cheapest European sites and as you see it's quite the difference this is double the price for this but I have to admit that this is more than double the fun than this is um, this might work for some guns which would look nice with a long big fake silencer on it but when you just want to use the tracer effect I strongly recommend this I understand why people like the Aztec lighter versions but now that you can get more or less a copy of it for like half the price why not this is very interesting and I uh, test shot it you have a, a little video coming up just because uh, after this so that's my miniature review of Swiss Arms very weird knockoff tracer that I must admit I freaking love so uh, good job Swiss Arms I'm happy I got this I'm even thinking about getting a second one just because I can two thumbs up from Rainbow